Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I'm back with another bridal makeup tutorial. Today I wanted to do something very smoky and bronzy. That was one of the number one requests that I got from you guys. If you haven't seen my previous videos, I will link a playlist right up here so you can check it out. Right now I'm doing just a bunch of different makeup trials for my wedding, which is in July. And I thought I could do just a couple of different looks that would be beneficial to you guys because say you're getting married or if you're just generally interested in makeup and different looks like this, you can check it out and get an idea for you but also it's gonna be it's going to help me figure out what I want to do for my wedding day as well and you guys can help me kind of decide what I want to do so today I did a no foundation look but made it very smoky very bronzy and all that kind of stuff so all of the looks are gonna be very bridal very wedding s but they're all gonna be a little bit different so so far I've done very classic and I'm doing very smoky then we're gonna do some cool tones some warm tones some spring summer just all of the different kinds put it into a playlist so you guys can get some inspiration so I hope you guys like this look. I hope you enjoy the tutorial and following along, please subscribe and let's get started. First, I just tried the Dyson Airwrap for the first time and I vlogged it. I'm so impressed with that thing. That was the first time I've ever used it and I just cannot believe that it just did that to my hair. I'm just so impressed. I can't wait to do my makeup to see what the whole vibe looks like. You guys really seem to like my last bridal tutorial and the one that I posted last year you guys really liked. So I'm excited to do this whole series. I really loved the last look a lot that is definitely a me sort of look but I wanted to pump out more bridal tutorials even if I've already decided what I want to do just to make sure that's what I want to do kind of confirm with myself that that's what I want but also so that you guys have an idea of what maybe you would want to do for your wedding day or even if you're not getting married or having a wedding maybe you're attending a special occasion or something these can just give you some ideas for what to do or products to use for different things they're all going to be pretty neutral for the most part but just to kind of give you some ideas Hopefully this is helpful. I want to go smoky today smokier than I would probably do for myself But I wanted to show you the options. So I hope you guys like this. So I'm gonna start with priming I've been using this one a lot recently. Actually. I've been liking it. This is the makeup forever fresh brightening primer Primers just like really have to like be absolutely amazing to impress me because I just don't feel like they all make that big of a difference. But this one, I like the smell. I like the texture. I like the tackiness afterwards. I feel like my skin is like pretty normal, but I do get oily when I wear makeup and that's it. If I don't wear makeup, I don't really get like greasy or anything. I want to do a no foundation look today because I'm actually going to a 90s cover band concert tonight. The band that we're seeing tonight is one of the ones that I'm thinking about for our wedding. It is like noon right now, so I want my makeup to last and I don't wanna wear foundation. Plus, I'm kinda of thinking that's what I'm gonna do on my wedding day. So I have two concealers here that I wanna use. Of course, the Pat McGrath Skin Sublime Concealer. This is probably my favorite concealer ever. And then Tarte, I think just came out with this one. I've never heard of it. Maybe it's been out for a while, but they sent this over. It's the Hydro Sealer. Looks like this. So I'm gonna use this on like the lower half. I'm gonna use this under my eyes no particular reason. I think I just really like the coverage of this one and the finish. And then anytime I just do concealer, I will balance it out everywhere else. So I'm just going to take a little bit down here and then a little up here around the nose. I'm going in with my FO3 brush from Sigma to blend this in. I feel like anytime I do just concealer and I skip foundation, I surprisingly get a lot of shocked comments. If you think about it, when you put on foundation, if you have any blemishes or redness or something that you want extra color, Covered, you would go in with concealer on top anyways so you end up like doubling up and if you just use concealer and you use like a thin amount to like up here I'm gonna use that to distribute over the forehead I don't have like discoloration up here I don't have any blemishes or anything so I just need like the finish to match <laughs> and today the color because I <laughs> clearly don't match this right now if you try it this way if you try this technique I think you'd be shocked that you just really don't need a lot of foundations unless you just really love the finish of them or you really really want that extra full coverage i feel like a lot of us can just really get away with just doing concealer i have a full video kind of going over all this if you want to check it out i'll link it right up here i go over like just more specifics on skipping foundation and just going in with concealer. I'm now going to go into my Fenty cream bronzer in Macchiato. I'm going to use an It Cosmetics number seven brush. And just kind of like work it into here and just pop it here on my cheekbones. Okay, get the forehead. 
Okay, I'm gonna go over the sides of my nose with the other side of the brush and just very lightly add like a cream contour. It won't be that intense right now, just to kind of start that shadow there. So I'm gonna set my face with powder. I'm gonna use the Makeup Forever H104 powder and the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I'm gonna use the Makeup Forever ones right underneath my eyes. It's like a thinner formula, so it works nicely here. And then the Laura Mercier one right here where I will get extra oily. I also make sure to bring it right in between my brows. I get really oily right up in here for some reason. To get a little bit more bronzeness, I'm gonna go into the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer in medium. Warm up my complexion just a little bit more. It's because I have a little bit of self tan left everywhere else. I don't wanna go too crazy though. I was, I think, too tan in my last one for myself. I doubled up on my self tan and I just don't think it looked that natural on me. Even though I do get that tan in the summer, I think because it was fake, you could tell. So just a little bit of bronziness. Now, I'm gonna use the MAC, this contour color here. It's like one of their sculpting powders. I'm gonna just hit some of these spots with this just to give me a little bit more sculptiness. Not much though, because I can tend to go a little overboard with contour. And when I'm watching my videos back, I'm like, girl, what are you doing? But I feel like in the end, it all turns out good. But in the moment, I'm like, damn. So just did a quick contour on my nose. And then I'm gonna go in with highlighter. This is the Becca Champagne Pop highlighter, which will be discontinued soon, which is so sad. One of my favorite highlighters. So I'm just gonna go in with a little bit because I forgot like how intense this highlighter was until I started using it a little bit more recently and it is intense. So I'm gonna try to go in with just a little bit right on my cheekbones here. This will work really nicely with the other tones we have on the eyes. And then I'm gonna use my finger to get the nose and Cupid's bow. And then I just go in and blend it out with this brush. For blush, I really want to try the Patrick Ta She's So LA blush. I haven't used this in a while. And I think you actually go in with the cream first and then the powder. So I'm going to use my Sigma F40. So I'll just go in with the cream first. Ooh, look at that color. Beautiful. I also like to kind of bring this everywhere else on the face. And then I'm going to go in with the powder and just set it on top. That kind of added a little bit of rosiness actually. Okay, for my brows, I'm gonna use the Anastasia Perfect Brow Pencil in medium brown. Fill them in the bottom first, like this. And then I fill in everywhere except for the front. Brows are done. And now I'm gonna prime. I'm gonna go into the MAC Painterly Paint Pot and prime my eyeballs. This will just help everything to not crease. And stay exactly how you want it all day. I'm just gonna set it in place with some powder so that we have a nice base for all of the eyeshadows to go on top of. This way the eyeshadow won't skip around or adhere to one spot and not another. So for my eyeshadow today, I'm gonna be using the two Makeup by Mario eyeshadows shadow palettes. I've got the Master Mattes and the Master Metallics. These are great. I actually did this like info class over Zoom uh, when these first launched in the fall. He was just really passionate about his line and he put so much thought and effort into it. So it just makes me love the products even more just knowing that backstory. Each of these are inspired by our bodies. That sounds so weird, but the Master Mattes palette is supposed to represent all of the different skin tone shades. So whatever your skin tone is, there's gonna be something in here that's very close to your skin tone. It's very versatile. You can deepen, lighten, whatever, and create. And then this is inspired by colors on the inside of the body, which I thought was just, just so interesting. So pretty much all of these shades will be flattering on everybody. Also, the bronze shade that I'm gonna be using today is this one, and it is the best bronze eyeshadow shade ever. So I'm gonna start with the mattes and just start smoking up my eyes. You know me, I'm gonna bounce around between like a million things. Things. But let's start with this shade up here. Start in the crease. I always start light, work my way up to the deepest shades, my smokiest shades. This will help give me a base. I love just layering all of these together, bringing this underneath my eye. If you're gonna be doing your makeup for your wedding day, I will link my how-to tutorial playlist right up here. I have a video all on applying eyeshadow, all on applying contour and highlighting, lashes, like the whole everything on the face, and I go super, super in-depth and detailed in those videos. So I'll link the playlist right up there if you wanna check it out, because if you have no idea how to do your makeup or you do and you just need some extra tips, 
I think that'd be really super helpful. Okay, I'm gonna start deepening it up. I'm going to mix these two together and start making this just a little bit more smoky and dramatic. Putting these right here on the outer corner because that's where I want it to be the smokiest. And then going in with the other brush and blending that out. And then once the majority of the product is off the brush, you can carry it more into this upper crease area if you want. I'm carrying this underneath. I am just working on building that up, making those deeper shades a little bit more concentrated, making this a little bit more smoky, which maybe I'll do something like this for the rehearsal dinner. Just something more blown out smoky. I'm not done with the matte colors. I think I'm gonna add more to smoke it up even more, but I wanna go with the bronzy shade, this one here, and put that all over my lid. I'm just gonna pick that up, tap off the excess, and just wipe it all over. I'm gonna spray this with a little bit of setting spray to make it more metallic. There we go. A little bit more creamy. I'm gonna take this bronzy color right here and just pop it right in the ball of the eye, right above where your pupil is. That's gonna make the eye look very, very round. So I'm just gonna bring this right here, right in the center. You're barely gonna tell a difference. I'm gonna mix just like all of the three shades that we used up top together and focus them right here at the lash line. Smoke this up a little bit more. And then just for fun, I mean, you could leave it just like this. I think this is beautiful, but I'm gonna add a little bit of the Makeup by Mario Bronzite Master Crystal Reflector. Mine's broken, so be very careful opening it and I can't turn it totally vertical. It's just a beautiful, shimmery, sparkly goodness. So I'm just gonna take my finger and just tap it because it just adds a little bit of glitter sparkle. I'm gonna grab my Costa Riche eyeliner from MAC. It's a very reddish brown color. And this I'm gonna put on the inner rim of the eye. You could do a, like a nude or a white or something like that to brighten it up. You know me, that's what I'm like wanting to do right now. But I wanna continue with this smoky theme. I love this eyeliner. It's my favorite brown liner because it has that warmth to it, has that redness. It's gorgeous. So I'm just gonna put this on the bottom waterline and just really work it in. I'm always putting my chin down and looking up into my mirror to access this waterline so that my eyes don't water too much. So I put it right in there. I'm gonna grab my brush with whatever's left over on it and just kind of wiggle it into the lash line so there's no separation between eyeshadow and eyeliner. Should look like that liner just kind of melts into the whole eye look. To highlight my eyes, I'm gonna go into the highlighter that I used on my face. There is some beautiful shades here that you could use, but I just love having the same highlighter for everything. It all looks very cohesive, so I'm just gonna take a small brush in this highlighter that I use on my face, pop it right there on the inner part of the eye, and then get right up here on the brow bone. And then I'm gonna blend that out, but I don't like to bring shimmer like all the way in because it can look a little crazy. I'm gonna grab probably like a mixture of these two and put it on my brush, bring that there and blend that out. Okay, I'm gonna go in with my favorite mascara at the moment. This is the Makeup Geek Mascara and I'm just gonna apply this all over the top lashes. Okay, I'm gonna go into the Anastasia Fashion Lashes. I wanted to try a different lash today. These will be nice because they are a little bit piecier, so you'll still be able to see that beautiful sparkle, that pretty bronze, but they are still dramatic. And now that my lashes are on, I'm gonna go in with some mascara. This is the MAC Giga Blash Lash Mascara and I'm just gonna add this to the bottom to balance out the top lashes. For my lips, I've been loving using the KKW Beauty 1.5 lip pencil and then blending it in with a brush. So what I'm gonna do right now is line and overline the lips and then instead of just going in with a lipstick right away or something, I'm gonna blend it in with a brush. Okay, so it looks crazy right now, but I'm gonna go in with a flat brush and just blend it towards the center. It feels like just really thin on my lips. Like it doesn't feel like I have a lot on there because all I have on is that one lip liner and I didn't completely color it in with full pigment, full product. I sheerly distributed it on the lips. So it's just so comfortable. I think I wanna tap just a little bit of Fly Girl from Buxom on top just to give a little bit of shine and a little bit of lightness to the center. So I'm just lightly tapping this here. 
I'm also gonna go in with my Morphe setting spray just because I feel like my skin's pretty dry today and hopefully that will kind of get rid of that dry feeling that I've got. I'm pretty sure that is what I'm gonna do for my lips on my wedding day because that is only two products. Are you proud of me? I normally mix like 500 lip products together and it's hard to know what I even did because I don't remember. So here it is up close so you can see everything. This is one of my favorite eye looks to do because it's so, it's smoky, but also very wearable. I feel like this look would look good on literally everybody. So yeah, if I ever did something more smoky, it would probably be this like for my wedding day. I don't know. We'll see. All right, so that's everything for today's tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed following along and seeing how I got this smoky, bronzy, bridal look. You definitely don't have to only wear this for getting married or for a wedding or anything like that, but I just wanted to give you a couple of different options. I hope you guys are enjoying the start of this series. I will link the playlist down below of all of my different wedding makeup tutorials in case you are getting married or if you're just overall curious what looks I've been coming up with. Let me know what other kind of wedding bridal tutorial look you'd like to see from me next down below in the comments and also let me know in this video which one is your favorite so far so that's it you guys thank you so much for hanging out with me today please subscribe and i'll see you soon bye